what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel big dog brett thanks so much for tuning in we are coming out of the winter hibernation mode to talk about these spring games and unfortunately clemson you are the you're the first one on the list here uh we're, we're just going to jump into it now before anybody really gets started in on me yes i get it. it's a spring game yes i also get that there is uh, modified rules and, and, and a whole bunch of other reasons why you don't get a authentic game feel i get it but there are some things you can gather from watching a spring game coaches watch these scrimmages very intently they want to see who's performing who's underperforming who's overperforming and i gotta tell you from what i saw Clemson's in trouble uh, the offensive line looked terrible to me um uh, the rush defense looked good but not great corner defense looked questionable i just really couldn't i, I really can't understand what's going on over at clemson um, something's gonna have to change <laughs> I don't, I don't know if Dabo Sweeney's willing to make those changes, but there's some things we really need to talk about. Uh, yes, I get that, that Clemson won national titles in the past 10 years. I get it. But there's also something that needs to be talked about where Clemson's not really progressing. They're not, they didn't even maintain where they were at. Let's talk about their record 2018 15 and 0 outstanding 2019 14 and 1 really good 2020 10 and 1 not bad 2021 10 and 3 2022 11 and 3 2023 9 and 4 Not what you want as a fan. Not what you want as a team who is supposed to be the front runner in in that entire conference, and should be. They should be the front runner. Uh, if you've won national titles with the same coach uh, that's there now, you you should be in contention, especially in a conference that is as weak as the ACC. I, the first thing I look at is okay, where's your recruiting? Now, before people jump in the comment section and start telling me that Dabo Sweeney does more with less whatever that means i would have to say i disagree at this point and here's why they were ranked their recruiting rank was number 16 in 2017 and yes then they went 15 and 0 the recruiting rank in 18 was number seven finished number two the recruiting rank in 2019 was 12 and in 2020 they finished second then their recruiting ranking was the highest that it has, has been in, in a decade. They recruited at number three. The next season, they finished at number 14. They still recruited that year at number five in the country. The next year, they finished ranked 13, which was one spot better than the year before, but not by much. That year, they recruited number 14. They finished the season ranked number 20. This in 2023, they recruited at level 15. The recruiting ranking was 15. Don't know where they're going to finish this year. Their current recruiting ranking is also 15. This, this is a severe drop-off. These last three years in recruiting ranking, 14, 15, and 15, is the lowest it has been since 2017. And if the trend continues, and I, don't have, I have no reason to believe it won't, they're going to be 8-4, and four, maybe 8-5. and five. I get that there's not a lot on their schedule. They play Georgia, and I'm not here. I'm not here to brag on Georgia or beat my test on Georgia, but just based on the recruiting rankings, Georgia's going to have a lot more talent on the field. And you can't very well say that he does more with less talent. Dabo Sweeney does more with less talent than what he has done previously, because he had a number three and a number five back to back classes, which means that his 2022 2023 teams should have performed way better than they did but they didn't last year's uh clemson's offense was their rushing offense was 42 in the country 
42 in the country. As a, that's rushing offense. That has absolutely nothing to do with the quarterback, in my opinion. That's pick up the ball, hand the ball off, and here you go, right? I, I want you to think about that. They're ranked 42 in the country. That means there's 41 other teams. Most college football fans can't name 41 other teams. Can't name them. Can't name 42 college football teams. Let me let me give you a list of teams that are better than Clemson at rushing the ball. The Raging Cajuns, SMU, NIU, Tulsa, Utah. That's a good one. South Florida, San Jose, Texas State, Georgia State. Oh, but they play in terrible conferences. Okay. Why does North Carolina rank number 19? Why does Georgia Tech rank number 12? They don't have the triple option anymore. They're in the same conference. Georgia Tech. I mean, what's what's the deal here? Cincinnati Bearcats, Boise. These are all Power Five teams. West Virginia. Hmm. Uh that that's decidedly unacceptable if you're a Clemson fan. If you want to look at total, uh, excuse me, you want to look at passing offense. They're not even ranked in the top fifty. Their total offense last season, there was fifty teams better than them. Fifty. Fifty. This is going in the wrong direction. It just is. And, and, and if Dabo doesn't get it turned around quickly, it's going to be a problem. Now, we want to look at, you want to look at something, a very important key factor? Here's one for you. Third down conversion percentage completion. How often do you convert on third down? Clemson's not even in the top 50. They're not even in the top 50. Pretty much, if you get them into a third down conversion, they're going to they're gonna give up the ball. I watched the spring game, and I was, I was dumbfounded. I was actually dumbfounded at the quarterback had a less, less than 50% completion percentage. There was nine sacks. The offensive line didn't even look like they were trying. Um, too many drop passes, interceptions thrown. This is an indication of where the program is headed, I would be severely concerned. Now, again, yes, I get it. spring game. Totally get it. Totally get it. Spring game. Last season was the worst season that Clemson has had since 2010. 2010, they went 6-7. and seven. The year before that was a better season than they had. His first year as an interim head coach, he only played – um, seven games. The next season he went nine and five, which was better than last year. Twenty ten he went six and seven. Every other every other season has been better. Every other season has been better than last year. But he won two national championships. Yes, he did. What has he done since then? Not enough. Four and four in conference. Defend that. Defend. Four and four in conference play. That is not doing more with less. That is doing less with less. <laughs> I want to see Clemson be a powerhouse. I want to see Clemson run that conference. I don't want Georgia Tech being at the top of the leaderboard. I can't stand Georgia Tech. That's just my own personal preference. But whenever you see a team like Clemson that has regressed like this, you have to scratch your head and go, what in the world is going on? You watch a spring game hoping to see some quality of football. Guys, I didn't see it. I did not see it. I watched Clemson get out there and struggle on offense the whole game. And what was sad was I felt like there were some huge gaping holes on their defense that their wideouts were running for big yards on things. But then I see the tackle that the defense makes, and they look soft, maybe, maybe. They were told, don't, don't plow into anybody. Then I saw a place where they did. So I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I really don't know. That was just, I would be very disappointed. I would be disappointed. It, and if you, look at, if you look at the upcoming season, you've got to wonder, with them starting the season off against a team like Georgia, is that going to set the tone? Um, when you look at how this game was played, you have to wonder what in the world 
are they going to do this season when they when they have to play right out of the gate? They have to play Georgia first game of the season. They got to come to Georgia to play it. Now, granted, there's not a whole lot on their other schedule, but Florida State's not. I mean, I don't know if they're going to beat Florida State. I'm pretty sure they won't beat South Carolina. I get us the uh, the whole rivalry thing, but at the end of the day. You're looking at a team here. I think they could lose four games, and they have trash teams on their schedule. If they played a team, uh, if they played a schedule like Tennessee, or Auburn, or Texas, or any of those teams, I'm going to run through Texas's schedule real quick, and I'm going to tell you how many losses I think Clemson would have. Uh, Texas plays Michigan. That's a loss. They play Oklahoma. Probably a loss. They play Georgia. That's a loss. They play Kentucky. That's a loss. They play Texas A&M. That's a loss. That, that's five losses right there. Might lose to Kentucky. Six losses. You can't just compare Clemson against Clemson's schedule. You have to compare Clemson against the rest of college football. And when you compare Clemson to the rest of college football, it really looks like they are on a downward trend. They are on a downward spiral. And it, Couple of seasons like this, I wouldn't be surprised if they put them in the if Dabo's out the door. I think your two national championships came from having absolutely elite quarterbacks. Cade Klubnik's not an elite quarterback. Uh, Cade Klubnik last year. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to pull up real quick. I'm going to pull up Cade Klubnik's. Um, wow, they're not even right in the top 25. No, yeah, they are top 20. Sixth in the ACC. Good Lord. How embarrassing. Ted Klubnik, 63% last year. 19 touchdowns. Baller. And nine interceptions. 28 sacks. He was sacked 28 times. Four. Guy's going to be crippled by the time he gets out of college football because the offensive line is, is just, just terrible. Terrible. 19, 9, and 28. 19, 9, and 28. Georgia last year, 24 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, 11 sacks. Just for comparison. Carson Beck throwing at 72.5%. Again, not beating my chest because Georgia's whatever. Um, I'm just telling you what I saw in that spring game. I was, if I was a Clemson fan, hey man, I, I'd have a lot of questions. I'd have a lot of questions. Well, guys, really appreciate you jumping on. That's a breakdown of what I saw uh, in that spring game. Uh, highly disappointed. Want to see better. Got got to do better, Clemson. Got to do better. Better. Uh, we're gonna be going to the uh, Georgia spring game this coming up Saturday. Hopefully, we'll see you guys there. If you want to get in touch, I'll be there on site. Give me a call. Give me a message. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. <clears throat> Let me know. We'll see you guys real soon. Have a great day. God bless.